Welcome to a Wednesday night on ice inside of Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. Joe Beninati, Craig Lachlan, and Al Koken with you tonight. Preseason festivities for the Caps and the Red Wings. This Toyota Star Trek locker puts the spotlights on the netminders. It's the number ones going against each other. Billy Huso gets the nod for the Detroit Red Wings. St. Louis last season, impressive year, 25-7-6, 2.56 for the Caps. Our first look at home ice and with Darcy Kemper, a 37 game winner, 2.54, 921. Both these guys are their respective number ones. They will clash here tonight at Capital One Arena. 27 year old Huso, 32 year old Kemper. On ice officials, Morgan McPhee and Mark Schoenet are the referees. CJ Murray and Matt McPherson have the lines. Washington and Detroit once more in the preseason. They met at Little Caesars Arena last Friday. The Caps were a 2-0 victor. John Carlson had the game-winning goal. Lars Eller scored an empty netter to salt it away. And it was fine work in the goal from Darcy Kemper and Charlie Lindgren, both of whom are dressed tonight. For Peter Laviolette's squad, there's Kemper at the near post, kneeling for the initial stop. As Alex Ovechkin looks to play clear away from Kubalik. Valeno pouncing on it, 90 in the white for visiting Detroit. As the Red Wings come into preseason action with a mark of two and three. Still a couple more games to go on their preseason schedule. Washington just one more after tonight with Columbus on Saturday. For Detroit, they're playing eight preseason games. It's a lot of games to play home and home against Pittsburgh. The Hawks, the Leafs, and the Caps are on their schedule. Line combinations and deep pairings for Washington at the top of your screen right now. The vast majority of the Caps opening night lineup is in action. Here comes Snively down the wing. Leaves for Oshie. The wraparound return to Snively. Badgered there by the defense of Stephen Camphor. Red Wings in the traveling whites. Bertuzzi will work back. Good to see Tyler Bertuzzi out there for Detroit. He had missed a, a good chunk of the early training camp dealing with some soreness. Yeah, surgically repaired back last season. He's a gritty sort, 58th overall in 2013. He's a UFA, and I think a lot of teams, if he remains a UFA at the end of the season, would love to have a Tyler Bertuzzi on your team. Who was a 30-goal scorer last season for the Wings. Through center, Elmer Soderblom, all six foot eight of him. <laughs> so he is a big rig, right? Huge. That is an awfully big left wing. I found only one player in training camp that's bigger than him, and that's Curtis Douglas, six foot nine, in the Toronto Maple Leaf camp. Long wrister deflected down wide of the cage. We're into the second minute of the opening period. A wraparound attempt came right on through. As the Caps had that surrounded defensively, it's rolled back to center. 23-year-old Seth Barton is there on the quick up. Soderblom gets to the outside, using that long reach to play away from Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Centering pass, snapshot from Zarnik that trickles wide of the goal. Sherry off the bench for Washington. Goes in direct, picks up Henrik Borgstrom. Borgstrom, former Florida first rounder, wearing 13 in the red for the Caps. Alexei Protus is out there again. He's played in all five preseason games for Washington. And he's looked very solid. One plus one on the score sheet, and he's skating extremely well. His size is, he's using it more and more to his advantage. Zarnik sets one up to the front door that just misfired for Hiroshi. And it looked like Ferravari read that play and got a piece of the twig on that pass as they created that two-on-one. 3.08 into the contest. The first two shots of the game belong to Detroit. Yeah, here's a look at Darcy Camper. When he goes down, his head's still above the crossbar. He covers so much real estate. As a shooter, you don't have much. And he can just come across in a hurry. Even on any type of wraps around the cage, he's able to recover and go post to post just with a little flick of his legs. Darcy needs some equipment attention there. Brock Miles, longtime Capitals head equipment manager going to tend to the skate of the netminder it appears perhaps the lace now he's changing the blade so when Kemper went post to post it looked like he may have put that blade on the pipe and that can dull the the blades very quickly it'll dull the blade and also give you a big nick in the blade which means you won't have 
good footing, and he quickly changes. It's so great to have those quickness when it comes to changing the blade. Locker, you and I met Darcy Kemper at MedStar Caps Iceplex during the week, and we were marveling at those skates in particular. They're like ski boots now. No laces, just clip-ons. It's amazing. Long wrister here, flag down shoulder high, and Kemper will hang on. Both the goaltenders are wearing them. Lindgren started wearing them, and he coaxed this guy, Darcy Kemper, to wear them, and he's really enjoyed them. He feels very comfortable. Darcy said, you know, I'll try it. I'll try it for a little while, and then he fell in love with them. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Capitals get control of the draw. This is 31-year-old Dmitry Orlov. Where does the time go? Better than 640 games on his ledger. Bang, bang, play! Huso made a sparkling stop on Brown. Yeah, that's a beautiful play there, and that's a real good transition by the Capitals' top trio here tonight. Ovechkin, Kuznetsov, and Connor Brown. Welcome to Washington. Here's a little play, a beautiful pass coming across right into the wheelhouse. Ovi Kuzi and Connor Brown. Their best look right off the bat. He's a guy that's going to go hard to the net. You're going to be able to find him. And what a stop by Huso. No easy assignment there for Huso on his first shot faced. Red Wings get control of the draw. Jonathan Berggren will dump it onto the Washington side of the table. Jensen for the Caps, who spent six seasons in the Detroit organization. Lost the handle, and back through center comes Ovechkin. Marked once more by Barton. And Jensen high in points last year with 21. 217 games now. Talk about time flying by on his resume as a Washington Kaplan. He's really matured as a top line, top four D once he came to Washington from Detroit. A little bit more than four minutes old. Are we in the opening frame? Capitals and Red Wings squaring off for the second time in preseason action. Evgeny Kuznetsov will deal this back into the Detroit zone. Brown there in a foot race. His efforts neutralizing the, uh, the icing call there. Pass for Lucas Johansson. He was knocked down by Soderblom. And that's a perfect example of what Connor Brown's going to bring to the table. He's got a wonderful engine and motor in his game. And he just wheels and deals. There's no stop to his game. And that type of speed is going to work wonders for the top trio playing with Kuzi and Ovechkin starting tonight. Soderblom arm in arm with Johansson. This is back at point position. Five on five play continues. Neither squad has had a, a power play just yet. T.J. Oshie in his eighth campaign with Washington. Soderblom shoulder to shoulder with Johansson. And the big thing for T.J. Oshie is staying healthy this year. He's got to be the type of player that we've seen in the past where he can bang and pound and do all the things that he brings to this hockey team and stay on the ice. Snively there entering the zone. This is going to be whistled offside by the linesman, Matt McPherson. There's T.J. Oshie, a heart and soul guy. Limited to 44 games last year. He had 25 points. The last three years, the game's total has went down. It's just because of how hard T.J. plays. And talk about a guy that leads it down the line every single game. This is one guy that he's irreplaceable, in my mind, on the guys in red here. Tonight. Locker, we're well into training camp. We're well into preseason play. When do the players start to feel good about their games? both physically and mentally approaching the season ahead. I think they feel pretty good right about now. I don't think they feel very good with the skate test and all that stuff to start training camp. But after that, I think they're right at the highest level right about now. And they know they see training camp is going to be over. They see the start of the season in their sights. And that, to me, invigorates the players at this time. Faravari wins a race there with Austin Zarnick, plays it to center. Barton was close by Lars Eller. And John Carlson will chip it back into the Detroit zone. Huso, formerly of the St. Louis Blues, plays it on the round. Barton will flee the zone and play it on through. Kubalik all the way to the doorstep of Kemper. Jensen flies back for Washington, trickles it to the Detroit line. As we've crossed the six-minute mark of a scoreless opening period, Wings out shooting Washington 4-1 to this point. That last play to the right of Camper was exactly what Jensen has brought to this hockey team. Playing with Orlov, they have been terrific together. The quick breakout, getting his feet moving, an easy transition out of the zone with no problem because of his footwork. You guys always talk about his escapability. That's You've seen it. him improve that by leaps and bounds as Hathaway will brush this in. Peter Laviolette wants a line change on the go. Ditto 
for Detroit. And for Jensen, Joe, a lot of that comes with confidence. He's playing more here than he ever did in Detroit. Because of that, he has the confidence to make plays. And he has this skill in, inertly in him that he's allowed to do things like that. On the move, Rasmussen getting wide on Johansson, who took him well. The angle to the backboards. He's another big rig, too, under the Red Wings team. Edvidson, the 19-year-old, right there in the slot, denied by Kemper. Loose puck here, a backhand chance, another one for Edvidson. That's denied, and Kemper will cover up, sending us to a commercial break. We'll get you back downtown in just a few moments. Washington and the Wings. Nothing, nothing. Would you look at Blocker after stays with Toronto and Ottawa. Connor Brown is going to bring all that flexibility with him to Washington this season. And that's a great pickup for a second rounder from the Senators. He's always played with good players. In fact, great players. Played with McDavid and Juniors. Played with Matthews in Toronto. He's going to really help as a top winger, top six winger with this Caps club. I like the way he's played to start this game. He's got the only Caps shot playing alongside Ovechkin and Kuznetsov. Multifaceted winger. You mentioned the time in Ottawa, surrounded by all those young pups. Sure. Now he comes to a Washington team that is uh, veteran-laden as we get a hand pass right off the draw. Face off here in the offensive end for Detroit, out shooting Washington to this point, 6-1. This may be a penalty playing the hand on the puck at the face-off, and there's Strom complaining, and the Caps will go short-handed here. And here's a look at the replay to the right of Darcy Kemper. Strom gets down low, he's gonna work the puck, and then they're gonna say he grabbed it. I'm not sure what they thought there, and he says a hand on the puck off the draw before the stick hits it. He goes to the box because of that infraction. Referee Morgan McPhee Making the assessment, Strom there with a shake of the head inside of the penalty box. The Caps go shorthand. Detroit gets settled quickly on the man advantage. Through the seam looking for Bertuzzi, deflected out of play as we share time now with Al Koken. Well, Joe, you just were talking about with Craig about what Connor Brown can bring to this team. I'm going to be very excited to see what he brings to this penalty kill. Not only is he an excellent penalty killer, but he's a real threat shorthanded. When you look at the numbers of the guys who have killed a lot of penalties for the Washington Capitals in 444 games, Connor Brown has more shorthanded goals and points than almost anybody other than T.J. Oshie. And Oshie's played twice as many games, so he can be a real threat. I'll be fascinated to see how they use him tonight. As Rasmussen works in now, that centering pass comes on through. Capitals look to play clear. There's a delayed penalty call coming up. And it's going to be a holding call upcoming here. And it's just inside the Capitals' blue line. And John Carlson's going to be nicked here. Back-to-back -back penalties Washington for the good guys. For Plenty of time for the Red Wings to work five on three with 126 still remaining in the Strom minor off the faceoff. Here's a battle for the puck. John's right arm and now left arm gets tied up with the wing forward. And so because of that, he's going to go off. Zadina draws the minor penalty and a quick five on three here in the first for the Red Wings. For 86 seconds. And just to add to Al Koken, as far as Connor Brown playing on the PK, in the past three years, there's only one forward that's played over 500 minutes, and that is the Caps' Connor Brown. Taking the draw now, short handed. Two men down, Washington in the red. Kubalik working at the top of the formation. Two man game with Bertuzzi. They'll interchange. Get Albert Johansson ready to crank up. 107 in the two man disadvantage. Johansson fakes it. They feed it down low. Rasmussen backdoor score. Bertuzzi with a layup. Double ricochet off the left pad of the goaltender Darcy Kemper. And the Red Wings find themselves up 1 0. Strom will come out of the box and. John Carlson will still have over a buck 30 to sit in the sin bin. Here's the movement down low. They're working five on three. There's sort of the missed shot, the great save off Rasmus Musen in front of the net, and it goes right off the pad, right to that guy Bertuzzi. You wonder why he's a 30 goal scorer. Right place, right time, and he's found the back of the net. Last year of his contract, Topic that you were addressing earlier in this period. Bertuzzi looked like the primary assist would come from Zadina. Mark it down at 809. Five on three power play goal. The wings were 0 for 2 
against Washington on the man advantage at Little Caesars last week. Zarnick and friends still on the power play for 70 seconds. Set it to the interior. Lucas Johansson with a backhand clear for Washington. He'll vacate. They'll get four fresh penalty killers on. Edvinson, first round over, first pick in 2021 was number six overall. Soderblom sends it down. Bergren, Yonatan there, his centering feed to the interior. Zarnik tries to go back door again, and it was Kemper sliding over laterally to make the save. Zarnik can't believe it. He thought he had a layup on the far side of the post. Might have been better served to get that shot away. As uh, Valeno in front of the net is taking a look at it. And here's the little play in front of the net. Here's the interchange there. They get a lucky break just off the back of the skate. A good chance for the Red Wings to go up 2-0 against the Caps. Joe Valeno, 22-year-old, another Detroit first-round pick. He was taken in the summer of 2018. Wings still a man to the good. This one's buzzed off the blocker of Kemper. 30 seconds left in the minor penalty to John Carlson. Red Wings, if you're just tuning in, scoring on the 5-on-3 power play. Tyler Bertuzzi provides the 1-0 lead for the visitors from the Motor City. On the advance, Johansson will drop it back into his wake for Zadina. A little give and go at the line is foiled. Orloff's clearing effort didn't get out. Second chance here for Washington, and this is brushed on down by Lars Eller as Carlson exits the sin bin. Red Wings already 10 shots peppered toward Darcy Kemper's way. The Caps have just won. That off the stick of Connor Brown, a 10-bell save by Husso. Could have been 1-0 Caps if he didn't come up with that beautiful play by Kuznetsov to Connor Brown. What a difference one preseason game makes. Kemper in Detroit played 31 minutes, only had to make nine stops in that combined shutout with Lindgren. Connor Brown badgered by Osterly. Lindgren there defensively as well as Ovechkin plays it to the point. Faravari goes around the horn for Jensen. We're back to five on five. We're more than halfway home in the opening stands. Osterly bothered by Ovechkin off the turnover here. Brown looking for the captain. Just misfired there on that centering pass. Jensen leaves. Kuznetsov sent it back to the point. That's intercepted and played clear in one fell swoop by Andreasen. Connor Brown looking on the bench, talking to his line mates there. A lot of players don't get the opportunity because of the quick two penalties the Capitals took. So you've got to get your legs back underneath you. Ovi, Kuznetsov, Connor Brown talking it over on the bench. We expect that to be the opening night trio. The top three for Laviolette, I would expect when they face off against the Bruins next Wednesday. Carlson will send the puck down low for Snively. They work an overlap for Oshie. On the interchange to Dylan Strom, his centering pass just uh, failed to connect with Snively, who was darting to the post. Nine minutes to play in the opening period. A Bertuzzi five-on-three power play goal has the wings in front. Oshie all on the perimeter here. TJ feeds. Carlson fires that one. Ricochets around and wide of the cage, guarded by Billy Husso. Wings looking to get it out, and this will... Dribble back through center. Carlson reloads for Strom. Dylan Strom had a two-goal game in a preseason outing up the road in Philadelphia in late September. At point position, Orla glides in and fires. That's off the outside of the meshing. Osterly with a quick reverse. As the Caps are in the middle of a change, Berggren will clear. Then Bertuzzi looking to get to the inside on McMichael. McMichael, good job defensively, but ran into a turnover that was waiting from Rasmussen. It bounced past him, and Connor can clear it again. That's interference. It will be a power play for Washington as a result. Red Wings have the 1-0 advantage. McMichael and his mates going a man up when you return.
Capitals about to go on a power play as they try and tie this game at one. Kevin, right now it looks like your defense score is pretty well set. So what are the things that you really want to concentrate on these last couple preseason games? Well, I think you're trying to get back to our, our pairs that we had during the season and get, get, that, get that chemistry back together again that we had. I think just getting some, get some shifts together is going to be a big, huge thing for these guys going forward. Thank you very much. Al, as always, when the Caps are at home, we look forward to the cooperation from the coaching staff. We'll hear from them throughout the night. As Oshie takes the draw against Valeno, they work it for an Ovechkin rip that sails wide of the goal. Caps to the man advantage, skating five on four, looking to answer the Red Wing power play strike that was a five on three. Alex Ovechkin. League's all-time leader when it comes to power play goals scored has this pass deflected into the Red Wing bench. Saw this unit practice the other day. Alex Ovechkin in his normal spot. A little change as Strom gets the opportunity to work down low. He's always been very good in his career handling the biscuit, working it around, moving the puck. Last year, Strom hit for 22 goals as part of the Hawks. When the Caps are fully healthy, normally it's uh, Kuznetsov and Backstrom. A slapper from the point deflected. Fine save there by Huso as he had Strom point blank on the redirect. Bump it back for Carlson. He'll let it fly. That hit the screener, who was also Dylan Strom. Oh, she's so good at puck retrieval along the boards. Kuznetsov from skate to stick away from Osterloo. Carlson shaded by Rasmussen. A backdoor look that was intercepted. Rasmussen digging for it. Carlson feeds. There's Ovechkin. Rotate for Oshi. Back to the great eight. Slap pass down low. Strom at the doorstep. And Huso has it under the glove. That's what you like about Strom. Number one, he's great down low, dishing the puck and distributing it. Second, he's not afraid to get his body in front of the net. Right off the draw, he wins a draw back to the point. Notice where he goes right away. Right to the front of the net. The unlucky bounce off the right pad of Huso. Doesn't find his twig. And again, just working over the D, getting inside position. And he's always had from junior on now to pro. A nose for the net. Very good around the paint. Snapshot coming. That's flagged down. Huso made the glove save on Connor McMichael. Yeah. Dylan Strom working with his third different squad locker after stops in Arizona and Chicago. Yeah, drafted big time high. And, you know, he's on a one-year deal here in Washington. Connor McMichael trying to crack the lineup, trying to show something over the next couple of games he hopes to be a factor come the deadline to put in the roster. We drift below seven minutes to go in the first period. Detroit out shooting Washington 10-6, outscoring them by one. The power play goal from Bertuzzi. As the Caps look to respond now, a half a minute left on their man advantage. Ovechkin with a rocket. Stopped by Huso and the rebound. Spun out of there by Dominic Kubelik. There's been no easy runs for Huso in the first. I mean, has he ever played well? If I'm their coach, Lalonde, I'd take him out right now. Let him get ready for the start of the season. Billy Huso stopped all 13 he faced against the Caps in that meeting last week in the Motor City. Washington prevailing 2-0. Connor Brown angles off the boards, leaves it to Orla. Head and shoulder fake away from Zarnik. Zarnik staying with it in the lane. Huso made a blocker stop. Rebound snapshot. Protus didn't get through as the wings are back to full strength. Washington with six shots on that man advantage. Hiroshi not going very far. Both teams in the middle of personnel changes. Hiroshi, some pretty good wheels there for an undrafted player from Winnipeg. Three seasons for him at Big Ten Michigan State with the Spartans. When you're a finalist for the Hobie, you can probably scoot and score. This is true. Lindstrom wants to shoot the puck more this season. He'll dump it in. Played along the back wall. There's Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Locker, we would expect, after hearing Al's conversation with Kevin McCarthy, that that third pair is most likely to be Gustafson and Van Riemsdyk on opening night. I would agree with you 100%. Around it comes for Soderblom. Snively there to put a pitchfork into him. Five minutes to go in the opening period. Bertuzzi from Zadina and Rasmussen. Five on three power play goal just after the eight minute mark. That's all she wrote so far on the scoreboard. But there's probably some openings for the seventh and eighth. And that's where some of the young defensemen, and Johansson's not really young. He's played a ton of American League games. He might get a chance. Beautiful centering pass. It's just snapped wide. 
Barton had a great look. Baravari, second best in the NHL among rookies in terms of hits last season. Long snap shot, Barton stopped by Kemper, rebound loose. And beneath fallen defenders and the netminder for the whistle. Get you back for the conclusion of the opening period. 428 to go here in DC with the caps down by one. Locker on October the 5th, the BMW ultimate moment has to remember this from Alex Ovechkin. He was hungry, ran into sushi down low, a <laughs> shot right there, and we were gonna see a ton more of them, and then a nice passing play. Halpern to Ovechkin. It's only been 1,273 games added to that first game. Always great to look back at some of the names and Alex's first game ever. That was 17 years ago Amazing. tonight. A couple of goals in that debut. Hasn't changed. Smile you couldn't wipe off of his face for a long, long time. That BMW Ultimate Moment brought to you by BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Red Wings are in town. In the traveling white sweaters, they have a 1-0 advantage. They're out shooting the Caps by 3, 11-8. Two teams are skating at uh, even and full strength. John Carlson, 70-plus points in three of his last four seasons. Able to funnel this back onto the Detroit side for a moment. Bertuzzi will kick it up and back into the Washington zone. Number one duel on the ice for the Laviolette. Did they ever come together and just complement one another like no other group of D. I mean, you look at Ferrari, you look at Carlson, the way they've just honed their skills together. It's a nice duel to watch game in, game out. Well-traveled Stephen Camper working in. Detroit, the fifth different team with which he's worked. And returned to the NHL, played in the KHL last year. Centering pass just out of reach there for Valeno. Snapshot flagged down by Kemper, NHL's best defender. Jensen now in his fourth season with Washington will scoop this back into the Red Wing zone all the way down for an icing call. Yep, no one touched it on the way. Correct call by the linesman here. There's a look at the great eight. 780 goals. And obviously when you're playing the Red Wings, it's 22 to pass. Gordie Howe for Alex Ovechkin. I expect him to do that before the first of the year. He was 20 years young when he brought his offensive game to life. 17 years ago tonight 37 year old 18th year pro he brought the game and he's brought the town to be a hockey town you know detroit's known in his hockey town but the capitals have turned into quite the town here for the washington Capitals. zadina with a stuff there and kemper with a denial this will roll all the way to huso 255 to go in the opening period zadina lets it come on through valeno stacked up by Dimitri Orla. Jensen plays it hard around. Zadina snares. Connor Brown for Washington. Into space for Ovechkin. One against two. Snapshot on the way. Well wide. Rebound kept in along the boards by Orla. Ovechkin skidding to a stop. Smith takes the puck for Detroit. Oh, he doesn't mind those numbers. One on two. He can still score. We've seen it more than a time or two as the wings are guilty of icing now. Alex Ovechkin, all 18 seasons with the Caps. Most tallies with just one squad. There's the great eight again. <laughs> and he'll pass the great Gordie Howe. Mr. Hockey with seven more. Stevie Y, Stevie Y, Steve Eiserman, the GM of Detroit in his fourth season. 692 impressive players on that list. Happy birthday, Mario Lemieux, 57 today. Happy birthday, Patrick Waugh, 57 wow. today. Both of those guys on the same day in the province of Quebec. Two pretty fair players, I think you'd say. That sounds like a good party. Yeah. <laughs> there might be some bottles of nice wine there. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Might have to, might have to see what those uh, two are imbibing. <laughs> Through center, it's Strom. Golfed in by Snively. 100 seconds left in the period. Bertuzzi from Rasmussen and Zadina at 8.09. That was a five-on-three power play goal for the Wings. Detroit had all of 19 shots last week in the preseason game against Washington. They're up to 14 right now with still uh, 120 to go in the period. Camfer well up on the play. Plays it back to the point. Perosi looking for Smith. Occupied along the backboards. This will be cleared on down. 
Caps will get a line change. Camper works his way through center. Skipping it in there on Kemper. Jensen first to it. Around the wall and out as we get into the uh, McNugget minute of the opening period. Fans, you can receive a free six-piece McNugget with a minimum $1 purchase on the Caps score in the last minute of any regulation period. That's available only on the McDonald's app the very next day. Offensive zone chance here for Sherry. Connor with a delayed penalty call coming. Kemper getting to the bench for Washington. Six on five out there in red. Orloff, nice move away from Soderblom. 30 seconds in the period, delayed penalty call against the Red Wings. Move it this way for Ovechkin, long wrister, just deflected to the roof. McMichael. Ovi, more times than not, is the guy that's coming on the ice for the goaltender. He immediately makes a beeline. They keep the puck alive, and he makes a depth pass towards the goal. Instead of bombing it, just a wrister, and he's looking at McMichael the whole time. He's looking for a redirect, a lucky bounce. He's not looking to score there, and it hits the forward stick, which changes the trajectory of the puck and the speed, and he gets inside their young defenseman. Everton able to put that puck past the left toe of their goaltender, Huso. 21-year-old McMichael, now a third-year pro, in quite a training camp battle with this man, Alexei Protus. Those guys both want to be on the opening night lineup for D.C. Final seven seconds of the period. Bertuzzi checking the scoreboard, launches it on down. As the siren sounds, ending 20 minutes in Washington. A good response by the Caps late. They had some good looks. Connor McMichael, a nice goal on the doorstep. He's trying to make this lineup. He led the Caps rookies in goals and points last season and adds one here in the preseason. Folks, the Capitals scoring in the last minute of this opening frame, so you get a free six-piece McNugget. I forgot about that. With a minimum dollar. I just, I just said it literally 60 seconds ago. <laughs> But that's okay. <laughs> With a minimum dollar purchase on the McDonald's app tomorrow, you can join Locker at McDonald's and get your uh, free six-piece McNuggets. To the room they go. We are getting set for Integrate Intermission Live. We'll have it for you in just a few moments. The Capitals stepping into battle with Detroit on a Wednesday night. At All hands on deck for the start of period number two. Connor McMichael's late first period goal. Tying the Caps up with the Red Wings. T.J. Oshie chomping at the bit to get back on the ice for the second period. Locker, if you're looking for an example of how a star player can impact a youngster, watch this in warm-ups. Love it. Guys are so great like this in warm-ups during the game, after the game. You wonder why T.J. is one of the most beloved Caps ever. He does it every single game, every single night. That young man surrounded by his buddies moved to tears there as TJ makes a new friend. Bertuzzi on the board for Detroit. McMichael for Washington. 1 1 as we start the second period. We'll start the NHL's regular season. The Capitals will one week from tonight. The Boston Bruins will be in town. Tonight, Washington rocking the red with Darcy Kemper expected to go the distance in goal. This is spun all the way down the length of the pond for an early icing, 17 seconds in. Some of the Bruins will be in town, yeah. right? They're really banged My up, gosh. right? Go through that again. We were talking McAvoy, about that. McAvoy, yep. Marshawn. Yep. I heard Hall most recently is not likely to start the season. Amazing. Peter Laviolette matching wits tonight with the new Detroit to head coach, Derek Lalonde. Yeah, signed five days after his last game with Tampa Bay. And their coach, Blashill, goes down and becomes his replacement with John Cooper's bunch. There's Lalone, last four years as John Cooper's assistant with highly successful Tampa Bay. As Ovechkin will slug it in, we begin period two at even and full strength. Shots on goal are 15-10 in favor for the Wings. Alex Ovechkin's gonna get the gate here. He 
Yep. This is going to be a power play for Detroit right off the jump in the second. Yeah, he was in first on the puck, got his stick wrenched around the defender, and down he goes. So the Caps will go shorthanded right off the bat. It was a veteran camper calling that, drawing that minor penalty. Here it is, interference by Ovi on their defenseman. Here comes Ovi chasing him down here, and it's a push from behind right where the pants are buckled up in the back. Little shot to the lower back, takes down the D-man. Ovi off to the box on an interference minor. Detroit, a season ago when they placed sixth in the Atlantic Division, had a 16.3% effective power play. They're three for 15 in the preseason this time around, including the Tyler Bertuzzi, five on three goal back in the first. This is their third man advantage on the night. The big man doesn't know how strong he is. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Billy Husso guarding the cage for Detroit. Red Wings will make a break for it out of their own zone. The stretch for Zadina, ripped off by Hathaway. Little give and go, Garnet Hathaway getting wide. Shorthanded Washington for another 126. Rasmussen through center. Plays it out wide. There's Zadina. Stopped by Lars Eller. Lucas Johansson entering the picture as well. They rotate for Bertuzzi. He'll fire. Missed it on the short side. Kubalik, former Blackhawk. Down low for Rasmussen. Greeted quickly. Things get bogged down back behind Kemper. Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Wouldn't mind keeping the puck pinned to the boards for a little bit longer. We're more than halfway through the minor penalty to Ovechkin. Cool belief will add something to their power play. He's definitely a shoot-first type guy and has that mentality. He's a 30-goal scorer in the past and was runner-up for the call. They're the last several seasons, though he's pulled off offensively. Headman Zarnik in. Soderblom rejected there by Kemper. His best save of the night. Berggren funnels to Ed Vincent. Work it around the horn. Detroit on a man advantage, 25 more ticks. Edmondson's wrister dips wide to the goal. Snively swats at it. Connor Brown beaten to the punch by Edmondson, towering 19-year-old on the back end for Detroit. They get it settled. Five on four for another 13 seconds. Valeno's snapshot didn't get through. Carlson was in the way. And this will escape the wing's offensive zone. Simon Edmondson, the 19-year-old who's... Learning quickly, Locker, that there's so much less time in the NHL than in the junior ranks. Yeah, and he's going to be a good one, though. Everything he brings to the table is a positive for the Red Wings. They're going to be stacked when you have a guy like him maturing, and I think he's going to crack the lineup this year as a 19-year-old. This is a Detroit team that's made significant changes to its back end. Of course, they have the outstanding Mo Sider off of a Rookie of the Year campaign. Not playing tonight. Osterley brushes it in. And that's sort of a big decision, right? Who do they want to play with Cider? I mean, last year they used several guys, and they're trying to find a stability guy to play with him. Long wrister kicked out of there by Kemper. Ben Sherratt's on the team now. Oli Mata's on the team defensively. Pesic and Hag are both injured at the moment, but you figured there's a spot for them. Smith to the front door looking for Luff. This is just sent wide, and Kemper says enough. He'll cover the rebound. Yeah, some good save by Kemper here in this hockey game. And they had a real good opportunity to get the lead back. Soderblom, an opportunity. Look at that little play, a depth little shot for a big rig, catches it softly and then puts it, trying to go seven hole, it looks like, between the blocker and the body. And that's closed down in a hurry. Real good save there by Kemper. If you missed it, Elmer Soderblom is six foot eight, playing the left wing. 2020 Swedish World Junior Team member. Red Wings have always done well mining talent from Sweden. And he just played against his brother, Ardvid, who's a goaltender for Chicago and up and coming, but he's 6'3 only. Shrimp. <laughs> Snively motors in for Oshie on the curling drag. Had that one erased. As we're five on five, just shy of the four minute mark. Deadlocked at one apiece. McMichael for Washington. Bertuzzi for Detroit. Rasmussen on the headman pass. It's a beauty. Kubalik's in. Stick save there by Kemper. Working it along the dasher board. Oh, she didn't get it out. Kubalik sends it down low for Rasmussen. Well, he's done his score in every game. He's played against Pittsburgh here in the preseason. There, he got a jump on TVR because he lost his stick and TVR couldn't recover to make that play. 
Johansson, neat moves around a fallen Oshi. Long wrister, that's punched aside by Kemper. And Oshi doesn't have a stick because he gave his to TVR. Bertuzzi hanging out on the wing. Looking to the front, Van Riemsdyk kicked it away. Oshi gets a new hockey stick from the bench and he's able to play it off the boards and out. He actually grabbed the one on the ice from TVR. It's probably too long. Bertuzzi to the front. Maleno just snapped that one with defensive help from Faravari wide of the goal. Maleno, a top round pick too in 2018, 30th overall. He's looked and trying to make a mark here tonight. Got into 66 NHL games a season ago, uh, an NHL best for him. Well, if you are tendered, Exceptional status in the OHL or the Q. You're pretty special. Tavares, Ekblad, McDavid, Sean Day, and then he was also, so add him to that list. Nice defensive play there by McMichael, intercepting the pass from Edvinson. As the wings work it to the exterior at the offensive end in this 1 1 hockey game. Zadina was tied up. Lars Eller enters the picture, and the former wing, Nick Jensen, will loft this back into the Detroit territory. This is uh, an icing call against Washington. Another opportunity for the Detroit Red Wings, and it's Kobalik, a good opportunity. He's looking for his fourth here in the preseason. Here he gets a stretch pass. Watch TVR. He loses his stick there, gets twisted around, which allows Kobalik a better opportunity on the net. If TVR has a stick, it's a totally different situation for the check forward breaking in there. He's going to really help on the power play, as I mentioned. He really has a that shot that he can let go. He pulls the trigger in a hurry. Kubalik, an Olympian with the Czechia in 2018. Five and a half gone by in the second. No scoring in this frame. Two teams traded goals in the first. Detroit on the board first. Then 11 minutes later, McMichael would equalize in the final minute of the frame as this is deflected out of play. Shots on goal are 19-10 in favor of the guys from the Motor City. Yeah, good play by Connor McMichael once again. You saw, you mentioned that defensive play down low. He scored a goal, the only goal the Caps have on the board here tonight. He's playing wing, so he's showing a lot of versatility in his first couple of years in the show. I mean, we saw him last year play some center, play some wing, and if they don't have a spot up the middle, he's trying to secure a spot on the wing here in this type of game. He told our Al Koken between periods, he's just fine playing on that side. Naturally a center, Connor McMichael. Didn't spend any time in the AHL in 21-22. He was Hershey's leading point scorer back in 2021. Well, the looks the way things are shaken out, because Netsoff, Strom, Eller, and then Dowd, it's going to be hard to make the middle got middleman position here in Washington. It's just the way it is. Borgstrom, we're getting our first look at number 13 in the red, Henrik Borgstrom, who played collegiately at the University of Denver. A couple of seasons there, and big-time numbers when it comes to goal scoring at the NCAA level. Very fancy stick handler. Backhand chance here. Husso made the save on Protus, and he'll cover. Little fraternizing after the whistle. Cooler heads are going to prevail. Get you back downtown in just a few moments. Still tied at one. Away from Zadina. Takes it at the midpoint. Interchanges with Kuznetsov. He'll twirl this one to the back glass. Ovechkin to Carlson, who's well in from his point position. Two teams are skating five on five. Seven minutes clear in the second of a 1-1 game. Detroit plays Toronto. Friday at Little Caesars Arena. The Capitals' final preseason game Saturday night against Columbus, and you'll see that on NBC Sports Washington. Edvinson, just out of reach for Zadina. A regrouping Carlson. Getting help there on the back end from Van Riemsdyk. The long stretch to Oshie. Stacked up with him was Camper. Camper chisels Rasmussen. Looking to flee the zone. Long strides through center. Gets it out wide for Bertuzzi. Gets it right back. Rasmussen fires and scores. That is a rocket ship under the bar. Again from Van Riemsdyk. The long stretch to Oshi. Stacked up with him was Camper. Camper chisels. Rasmussen looking to flee the zone. Long strides through center. Gets it out wide for Bertuzzi. Gets it right back. Rasmussen fires and scores. That is a rocket ship under the bar over the catching minute, Kemper. Rasmussen had a coming out last year. He had 15 goals, which was his high. His first three years, 8-3, 15 goals. 
Rasmussen under the bar, 6-6-2-10, and he let it fly. Beautiful pass by Bertuzzi on the backhand, and there it is, high heat by Rasmussen. Their big pivot, number one pivot here tonight. He'll be down the roster once he sees Larkin and all those guys when they have their full roster. That is one heck of a shot by that big fella. Figure Dylan Larkin in the top spot. Andrew Kopp, who they brought in, and they're hoping he'll play in a preseason game. Kopp is coming back off of abdominal surgery. This Red Wings team is going to get better and better and better over the next few years. As usual, Steve Eiserman is building something quite nice. Yeah, he really went out at the free agency and really started to stock up. He's got draft picks galore. They've got one of the better, when you look at prospect pool at the National Hockey League, it's there. And Rasmussen's one of these guys that they're looking forward to. I mean, he's still young. He's only 23 years of age, ninth overall pick in 2017. That type of shot is going to win you a high-level spot in this lineup. He has a goal and an assist here tonight. Coach Lalone will sort it all out offensively and defensively. But you figure that Chirac would team up with Sider, Mata with Horonic. They have depth now. And I think, you know, Stevie Y did the right thing. He looked at his team. They made the coaching change because at the end of the last year, they lost 16 of 18 on a very poor stretch. They bring in a new coach, and the first thing they talk about is cutting down goals against. Remember, last year, this Red Wings team was 3.78, just way too much. And what he wants to do early in camp, he was talking about taking the cheat out of their game, playing positionally more sound. Only Montreal had a worse goals against average than the Red Wings did a season ago. They have a 2-1 lead in Washington as we are nearing the midway mark of this regulation time. The lead goal provided by Rasmussen. Bertuzzi with the assist. Centering pass comes all the way to the point. Johansson fires. That was broken up in front. Rasmussen and Strom go to the dasher. Dylan wins that battle for Washington. And away come the Caps. A lead for Oshie's a bit strong. He flattened Johansson as the Caps make a line change on the go. Jonathan Berggren clears it back into the Washington end. Jensen tape to tape with Sherry. Trying to get around Gustav Lindstrom. Tennis as the puck gets tied up in the gear of Lars Eller long enough for the whistle. Folks from the promo department, the Capitals Alumni Association, in partnership with the Monumental Sports and Entertainment, hosting the fourth annual DC Rooftop Fundraiser, Stars and Spirits. It's coming up this Friday, in fact. Join your favorite former Caps. We saw Peter Bondra earlier today. Sergey Gonchar will be there. Carl Alsner, too, for a night you won't forget. Scan the QR code, or you can visit washcaps.com slash alumni weekend it's at signal house it's going to be a ton of fun in union market please come out we've got some tickets still available we're going to have a blast including how about richard zednick making an appearance here prior to the game we've got guys coming in we have over 20 alumni we expect some of the current caps to also have a visit there please come out and support the alumni foundation great to see peter bonder richard zednick Dennis Marouk, old Pee Wee in the, in the booth with us pregame tonight. He's always got that hat on, Joe. Yes, he does. Looking sharp. Yes, he does. Andreasen around for Barton, and he'll launch it back into the Washington zone. No icing here as we approach 10 minutes gone by in the second. John Carlson, who had the game winner against the Wings in the preseason game at Little Caesars last week. Orloff working in. Camper is waiting for him. Five on five play continues. Camper flushed out by Hathaway. Orloff was knocked down, came up complaining to the young referee Morgan McPhee. Protus covering up there defensively, a centering pass for Hirose that never arrived. Taro Hirose scampers to keep it in for a moment. Now the Red Wings are forced to reload back in their own end. Edvidson's pass deflected away, cleared on to Hathaway. Stapled to the boards by Edmondson, who lost his helmet in the process. The youngster will have to leave the rink. 22 to 11, Detroit out shooting Washington. Van Riemsdyk lets it go. That's deflected over top of the goal. Trevor Van Riemsdyk cross ice. Lucas Johansson outside Hathaway. A spinning backhand pass that came through the goal mount. Fresh folks on for Washington. Off the head fake, this is Kuznetsov. 
marked by Zarnik. Ovechkin to Van Riemsdyk. His blast answered there by the skate of Giovanni Smith. Capitals winning the puck possession battle here for the last few moments, but now forced to give chase back onto their half a center. They've had a tough time, though, getting shots through. The defense for Detroit has done a good job clogging up in front of the net of Huso. The shots here to start the second, 7-1 in favor of Detroit. Much the same start they had in the first where they led the Caps at one juncture, 10-1. Just one shot for Washington in this middle period, as Locker mentions, and we're almost 12 minutes into it. Jensen, did he keep that in? Yes, in the estimation of the linesman. Digging for it in the corner is Kuznetsov, and it's uh, spun out of there. The length of the ice, no icing here as Kemper gives the marching orders for Martin Ferravari, 22-year-old Slovak. He had the big smile when we saw him in the locker room, right? He's got his new chicklets in, didn't he? Martin Ferravari. Sure to look like it, right? He had a, a little he had accident prior to the start of training camp. Jensen's backhand denied by Huso. Strome like was also he beaten a, at the post. Billy Huso hangs on while camp. we hang out. 7.55 to go Huso. in the second. Strome Jensen in the caps, the entertaining the wings, and trailing on. by one. Capitals down a goal to the Detroit Red Wings here in the second period. Blaine, we've seen Alexi Protus have an outstanding camp. Connor McMichael had a big goal tonight. How tough are these young guys making it on you coaches? It's great. There's some great battles going on. You know, those guys are making noise. They want to be here. They're making impact on games. Pro's played every game like a like a big horse that he is, and he's he's been a factor in every game. So they're making it tough, and that's what you want from your young guys. You want them to push. You want to put them in situations where they succeed, and hopefully it works out for them. Appreciate it. Thank you. Al, we appreciate it. We heard from uh, Kevin McCarthy back in the opening period. Blaine right there, and we'll have Scott Allen from the Caps bench in the third. Wrist shot here, vacuumed up by Huso, and he'll hold. Absolutely no screen in front of the net. Nobody in red able to get in front. And front the goalie, take the eyes away on that Orloff shot off the plank. Huso's look very sharp in this game, coming arguably on his best season ever. 25 wins with the St. Louis Blues. He has 34 wins in his career in 57 NHL games. Caps get the draw. Carlson zips this one high. Dylan Strom sends it below the goal line. Snively sneaks back to point position for Carlson. Working it on the exterior once more for Oshie. TJ to the front, blocked off by Lindstrom. Oshie gets it right back. Valeno put a little cross check into him, knocks him away from the puck, and away come the wings. In transition, Kubalik hooks off. Leaves it for Zadina, gets it back. That's a routine stick save for Darcy Kemper. Mark him down for 21 on the night. Sherry on a chip and chase to the outside. Caps not too happy with that Valeno check on TJ Oshie. He went slowly to the bench and fist pumps and taps on as he's trying to feel much better after that hit sort of from the side and behind by Valeno, their forward. Jensen on the go, scoots to the outside away from Osterly. Plays it back to the point to Ferravari. Jensen hammers this one that's deflected high. 6.45 to go in the second. The puck played looked like off the high stick there for the whistle to come from the referee, Mark Joannette. Well, number 90, Joe Valeno, caught a piece of TJ right there into the shoulder. Sort of caught him off balance. And his shoulder hit the dasher wall very, very hard there. He had a tough time getting back up. Valeno stole the puck, took that shot mid point of number the one number seven on his left side there and tj hap not too happy there after that hit by their young player capitals took a 2-1 loss in their last preseason game that was at nationwide arena in columbus this detroit team lost to pittsburgh monday at little caesars detroit's two and three all three losses have come at home and that game against pittsburgh they just about had their whole lineup other than the injured guys playing in front of their home town fans jensen Sneaky move away from Berger, and he scores! Nick Jensen. That is some shot indeed. And they had some screens set up in front of the net, and some friendly guys in front of who saw his own teammates, and that's a dart, but it all stems from the confidence that Nick Jensen has playing for this team. A little shimmy, a little shake, eludes a forward, and what a shot that was going top shelf 
Rasmussen in front of the net. He's a big rig. He's the size of a, an apartment building, and he takes the eyes away from the goaltender. And that shot, high heat over the catching mitt, the Caps have tied it up here in the second. Detroit drafted the 32-year-old Nick Jensen way back in the summer of 2009. He played parts of six seasons with Detroit. Spent three full years developing at the AHL level in Grand Rapids. Here, he bites the hand that used to feed him, and it's a 2-2 game. Point position, Van Riemsdyk. Swinging on around. Johansson's wrister bounces wide. Uh, Valeno just hit TJ Oshie. We showed that highlight. TJ Oshie now down towards the locker room runway, heading in to get looked at. Protus to the goal mouth. Huso there kneeling to cover in the paint. Osterley and Hathaway need to be separated. It was fun being with Hath the other night, right, Joe? Great time. Hath's heroes started and has his own beer now. Very exciting times for Hathaway and Hath's heroes. More on that when we return. Jensen's tied things up for Washington. Nick Jensen, congratulations at the bench in a 2-2 preseason game. Capital One Arena, always a colorful sight. 2-2 this Wednesday night in preseason action. Jensen's just tied it up. A few moments ago, Locker, this happened to TJ Oshie. Yeah, it's a hit from the side a little bit. Voleno gets a piece of Oshie unsuspectingly. Down the runway he goes with Serbi, the trainer for the Washington Capitals, to be looked at. And we'll have to get an update on TJ Oshie. Connor Brown, 28 in the red for Washington, scoops this one down low. Opposite number 28, Lindstrom there for Detroit. And Hiroshi will clear. Five minutes and 20 seconds to go in the second period. One more preseason game for the Capitals Saturday night. It'll be against Columbus. And when we were talking with TJ as training camp was unfolding, he says, yeah, perfect world. I'd probably play in two of the preseason games. That's all he would need more than he would tell you he only needs one <laughs> to get perfectly ready. That's the last thing you want to see as a player head down the dressing room tunnel dealing with a preseason injury Smith at the offensive end for Detroit Lucas Johansson there for Washington Ovechkin will get it out McMichael has a goal and an assist for the uh, Capitals tonight he had the helper on the Jensen tally Smith to the front blocked off by Carlson Giovanni Smith feeds one to a vacant point. Wings were in the middle of a chain. He's a tough customer. 46th overall. 6'2", 220. Giovanni Smith led the OHL a couple of times in Pims. He's one tough customer. They like the grit that he brings to this young Detroit lineup. Another guy who played uh, his NHL best number of games last season, 46, to be specific. He used to always hang out at the Biosteel camps with Tom Wilson, Joel Ward, guys like that. Zadina's drive, blocker down by Kemper, who's gone the distance for the Capitals. In the last meeting in the preseason with Detroit, Kemper and Lindgren split. The Caps uh, blanked. Detroit two zip at Little Caesars. Three on two developing here. Closing Strom for Protus, and he just slugged it wide. Osterley shading Protus. Centering pass. Jensen lets it fly. And on the angle there, Huso with a glove. Good opportunity. Protus, a nice look in front once again. Protus, you know, as everybody's talked about, a good opportunity. Dylan Strom feathering it across. That whole play is made because of the center drive. And it's such a little thing that we take for granted. But Snively's a guy that pushes back the D, which allows a seam pass to be distributed from one side to the other. Protus, a good look against Puso here tonight. Quickly saw his junior numbers there. The Caps traded up with Jersey to take Protus in the summer of 2019. Sherry back on it, using the boards with three and change, separating us from Integrate Intermission Live. Just past the bottom of the hour, Joe Beninati, Craig Lachlan upstairs, Al Kokins, your ringside reporter. Three cheers for all the men and women in our technical crew tonight. One more of these tune-ups on Saturday before the real thing gets going. A week from tonight, the Caps will entertain the Bruins. That game seen nationally on TNT. And then we're with you north of the border in Toronto. Sherry lets this fly. A stick save for Husa. McMichael down low. South of the goal line, Lars Eller double-teamed, and Lindstrom took care of him. 
Shots on goal are 25 to 18, favored Detroit. Coach Lalone changing him up for the wings. Lindstrom there looking like Lidstrom behind the net against Deller, one on one. Nice to have patience, too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Trevor Van Riemsdyk ambles back to play. This is going to turn out to be icing against Detroit. On the Toyota League leaderboard locker, the Caps head coach is very high on this list. Way to go, Lavi. Top three. Third overall, only Lindy Ruff and Paul Maurice now with the Florida Panthers ahead of him when it comes to wins. The top leader is Lindy Ruff at 782. Past Daryl Sutter and John Tortorello back in the mix. Now the Flyers head coach. Johansson for Washington. I thought he wanted to be one of us at a point. Who's this, Torts? Torts, yeah. Torts. <laughs> he was on TV. Right from the desk, back behind the bench. Andreas in 26 in the wide. Pontus Andreas and never drafted. Big numbers in the Swedish league. A season ago. Well, they found him in Frulunda in the Swedish league, as you mentioned, Joe. And the thing about that is, you know, everyone looks for college players. The one thing I've noticed when I looked at their roster, the amount of Swedish players that they have either drafted or been a part of it. Maybe that's because I think Lidstrom's now one of the scouts and pro scouts for this hockey club. Director of Hockey Ops. Yeah. Carlson stick check Soderblom there. Big number 85 lost his hockey stick. 90 seconds left in the period. That centering pass is deflected away. The Capitals have led in this hockey game tonight. Bertuzzi and Rasmussen on the board for Detroit. McMichael and Jensen have answered for Washington. Hathaway through center. Little give and go. Twice over. Hathaway fires. Stick save. Huso. Point position. Orloff. Cleverly away from Valeno. On the takeaway, Zadina and Valeno go two on two. At the line, this is offside against Sedina. The one up play by Dmitry Orloff. The turnover at the far blue line and an opportunity. Ovi, the last several shifts, has been running around a little bit. I think he's energized his hockey team. We talk about that a lot. There's the hit behind the net. He got involved. Osterley, the veteran, going back to pick up that puck is railed by the grade eight, the captain here. And he energizes teams his team when things are a little rocky going one way or another probably unhappy with the hit to tj oshi his next couple of shifts he has been out taking the body and that gets his team going mcnugget minute of the second period jensen plays it for Ferravari. racing through center Ferravari's snapshot right past the ear of huso kept at point position by jensen fotis Digging in against two wings defenders. There's another hit from Ovechkin. Jensen will pinch in from the point. Edvinson took care of him. And then the net comes up off of its moorings. Yeah, I think Brodus was involved with partially with that. Taking down a wing down next to the net. Not too pleased there. As Steven Camper got taken down not only by a piece of the net, but also by Brodus, who had a hard drive to that far side post with Billy Huso trying to hold down the fort. Here's the rotation out. Camper sees it, but look at him take the shortest route to the puck, and he got a piece of Camper. He says, what just ran over me? Well, that's the big truck right there, number 59, Protus with the Cats. Protus looking for his second preseason goal. He scored at uh, Columbus last time out. His first NHL goal for Alexei Protus came down in Raleigh. Sizzler from center from Jensen. Final 15 ticks of the period. Wings. Looking to clear, Rasmussen, who gave Detroit the advantage early in the second, only to see the former wing Jensen tie it, as we are now two-thirds of the way through regulation. 40 minutes done, deadlocked at two apiece. Wings still have the advantage when it comes to shots, but some good plays by the defense, including that guy right there. Jensen with a dart to the cross, top corner. Rasmussen also one that beat the cap snap minder, and we're deadlocked once again at two apiece. We are headed now to integrate intermission live once we get you back after this TV timeout. The Capitals and the Red Wings, one of five on the preseason slate. Kemper has looked sharp in goal for the Caps. 
as he has gone the distance. Rasmussen and Jensen in the second period, 2-2. Integrate intermission live right after this. Hey there, Grade 8. Join us for our next Caps telecast. It'll be Saturday on October the 8th. The Capitals and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Our coverage begins at 7. You can stream the Capitals on the go using the My Teams app. As the Caps are entertaining Detroit this Wednesday night, the Grade 8 has an assist on the McMichael goal back in the opening period. Darcy Kemper and Billy Husso have been the netminders throughout for their respective teams. Detroit a season ago, 32 wins, 74 points. Sixth in the Atlantic. The Capitals, 44 victories and 100 points. Good for fourth in the Metro. As they conclude their second preseason game against one another. Caps, 2-1-1 one one in preseason for what it matters. Detroit at 2-3 and three heading into this one. Deflected down there. Huto made a stick save on Ovechkin. Just tuning in with us on this Wednesday night. Tallies from Bertuzzi and Rasmussen for the Wings. Goals from McMichael and Jensen for Washington. Nice pass to the interior. Better save. Huso had the glove ready for Brown. And this line's been together all line all night long. Obi, Kuzi, and Connor Brown. A good little deflection. D to D spread out the traffic. And look at Obi. Get the bottom of the heel of the stick on that puck. Innocent looking wrist shot makes it tough on Huso. The Caps will play with 11 forwards here in the third period. No T.J. Oshie. I thought it was pretty cool listening to you and Connor Brown go through the uh, the lay of the land in the Toronto suburbs <laughs> the other day. Both of you from that area. Bertuzzi tried to finesse his way around Jensen. No save. Nick rolls it on. He probably finished and said, who are those two guys? And, and those two chuckleheads? Am I going to be seeing who are those guys? ever again? Along the boards, Jensen arrives at the puck. Shots on goal are 27-20, favored Detroit. Early stages of the third. Gustav Lindstrom looking to clear. Snively in the board battle along with Borgstrom. Henrik Borgstrom, 25-year-old Finn in the Washington lineup tonight. Locker just mentioned the TJ Oshie not uh, returning tonight, hopefully just for precautionary reasons. Injured in the second when he went crashing to the boards after a hit from uh, Joe Valeno. A backpedaling Trevor Van Riemsdyk has it for the Caps. Folks, uh, you've seen this a time or two in recent years. Regardless of the score tonight, we will be practicing the, the shootout at the conclusion of the 60 minutes or overtime. McMichael on the interchange for Sherry. Sherry back on top. Van Riemsdyk fires. That's knocked down by Husso. At point position, Eller's long drive, and Billy Huso has that. Huso, parts of six seasons in St. Louis, now in his first year. His catching mitt has been very good here tonight against the Caps. Long range blast there by Lars Eller. Lars Eller coming off a 13 goal season last year. Again, finding his eyes through traffic. Caps did a decent job here. That's quite a few guys in red and some guys in white also around the paint there. Good catch there by their netminder. We talked to Lars uh, earlier in camp, and he said he feels great. No physical ailments that he was battling, so he can just get right into gear in this 22-23 season. He's 30 games to 900, Joe. Amazing. It's hard to believe. It all began for uh, Lars as a St. Louis draft pick, snapshot towards the goal. Knocked down in front of massive humanity in front of Huso there. Lars Eller now in his seventh season with the Caps. Even more than his time that he logged in Montreal. Camper stacking up Protus. Alexei Protus beaten to the punch there by Zarnik. This will dribble the center and away comes Zarnik down the flank. Ferravari turns. Took a crunch from Giovanni Smith. Ferravari will look to give it back as the Caps get out of their own end. 2-2 score, three minutes into the third. Long headman gets through Kuznetsov. Huso wanders into that trapezoid. Plays it on a round, but not out. Orloff back into the far corner. There's Jensen up on, upended there by Valeno as uh, Huso will hang on. The articles I saw earlier in the summer was Darcy Kemper saying he would like 
to get rid of the trapezoid. He's one of the goalies that's not fond of having that area behind the net. That means he likes to play the puck. In the Correct. Corners. Likes to roam a little bit. Face-off duty numbers at the top of the screen. Not so good of a night so far for Kuznetsov. Much better for Dylan Strom. We checked the score sheet. Strom's won eight of his first ten. Jensen towards the cage. Knocked down by Zadina. Nick stays with it. From the angle, Valeno there to cover him up. Kuznetsov, a spinning slapper, a pad save for Huso as Osterly launches it back to center. And that's a good sign for Strom. You want him to be strong and you want the team to be strong up the middle. I like his versatility. You know, he has no problem playing the wing either and being a playmaking winger up the middle. You got a little more space to operate between the dots. But I like the fact that he can play both places and not look out of place. Alex Ovechkin just tried a between the skates deflection that went wide of the goal. Kuznetsov relays it in as Ovechkin's at the end of his shift. Locker, you mentioned it. After the hit to Oshie, Ovechkin threw at least four or five body checks at the conclusion of the second period. Absolutely, and he's carried it on here in his first shift. A little bit more than four minutes into the third. Good stick check by Hathaway. Hathaway, one-hand shuffle for Snively, erased by Barton, and played back onto the Washington side of center. Van Riemsdyk using the wall. Strom is there, occupied by Edvinson. Youngster didn't get it deep. A relay for Snively that's out of his grasp as the two teams play ping pong with the puck through neutral. And Hathaway got nicked right at the center stripe off to the bench very slowly there. Loose puck in front of the goal. Bertuzzi sends it on out. Down the flank, Yonatan Berggren. Berggren who set the American Hockey League Grand Rapids record for rookie points last year. They're very high on him. Strom on the go on the delay. Looks cross rink. Sliding defensive play made. Sherry feeds it up top. Strom. One more time. Snively with a screen developing. They rotate for Carlson. That was interesting. Snively and Strom working the blue line. <laughs> did they forget their forwards? They figured it out all right. <laughs> yeah, I know they did. Capitals up to 24 shots now. Edvinson's outlet is right on target. Soderblom didn't get through on his first effort. Here he comes again. Soderblom turns. Big man punished along the backboards. There to greet him was Faravari. McMichael, who has a goal and an assist tonight, erased there by Albert Johansson. That big fella reminds me a little bit like Keith Primo back in the day. Oh, my goodness. Centering feed for Eller clicks on through. It bounced away from McMichael. Here comes Soderblom, two on two. Soderblom fires, and Kemper hangs on with a glove against the pad. Been very active, this guy. I mean, he's looking to find a spot in this roster for the Detroit Red Wings, and I think he's making a point. A uh, real nice play, moving up the ice. I mean, gets the puck. Soderblom has had a couple of good looks. I like the way he stripped the puck and watch him elect to shoot, and that's a sneaky shot, trying to go short side. Trying to know, use Jensen a little bit coming over. He knew the offside was covered on a good back check by Connor McMichael. Countryman Lucas Raymond had an outstanding rookie season last year. He figures to be receiving top line duty from coach Derek Lalonde. And I think the big acquisition, I, I know we talk about some of their stars we have in this game, but Perron, I yeah. think, is going to be a big factor for this young bunch. I really do. Nice defensive play by Jensen, deflecting the bid from Smith off of the rink as we are off to a commercial timeout. 6-11 gone by in the third. Still deadlocked at two apiece. Caps and Red Wings are tied at two. Scott, tonight your penalty kill group has had a look at a couple different situations, including a five on three. How far along are you with this group on how you want to have these shorthanded situations dealt with? Oh, we certainly have a long ways to go. I mean, especially that five on three. We just started talking about it recently, and it's difficult sometimes. Some of your power play guys also kill penalties to work on in practice in certain situations. So I know Lavi's got a plan, and uh, we're well structured coming into this last week before the regular season starts. So hopefully we'll be ready uh, for the 12. Appreciate it. Thank you. Scott Allen with the eye in the sky IFB dangling from his ear. Kind enough to lend us some insight in the third period of a 2-2 hockey game. All the scoring done in the first 40 minutes. 
Nick Jensen's the last guy on the board. Tying things up for Washington from McMichael and Sherry. Nice individual effort from the point. Zadina, very fancy stick handler, matched up against Van Riemsdyk there, who sent him away. Lindstrom will move it along. Gustav Lindstrom, career best dozen assists last season. And looking to be more consistent in his play when the media had talked to him in Detroit. Hathaway buried there by Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi, a goal and an assist like McMichael tonight. Carlson venturing in, fanned on his wrister from the bad angle. Kubalik looking over his shoulder. Kubalik goes down the boards and it winds up in the Detroit bench. Folks, the Hyundai assist leaders showing defensemen who really like to share. And we really like that guy, number 74, John Carlson. You look at those numbers since 2017. Impressive group right there that John's ahead of the class. No more, he has more than him. 25 more than second place. Uh, you take a look at Hedman, Yossi Burns, and Morgan Riley rounded out. All guys that can skate are excellent on the power play. Just have a real good sense when they get that puck. Are you ready to see a whole lot more of Brent Burns this year playing with the Hurricanes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's going to be a nice mix for him. I, I think that's a nice addition for the Hurricanes. Sort of liked it when you only saw him twice a year. Yeah. Be more than that now. Rasmussen lost it to Ovechkin. Play it at the point position, it's Carlson. Back into the captain's corner, back behind the cage. Red Wings had him surrounded, and Rasmussen glides through neutral. Put that one to the boards, it hit the linesman McPherson. Bad break there for the Red Wings center. Brown sidesteps a hit, his shot was blocked. Rasmussen takes Brown to the boards with 12 minutes to go in regulation of a 2-2 game. I think Steven Camper took a little bit off of that check there, Joe, because it, he could have been in the 10th row coming across there on the Capitals with their head down entering that zone. On the move, on the drop. Berggren took that drop pass from Luff, snapped it high. Centering feed once more. Camper zipped that one over top of the cage, and it deflects out of play. Good job joining the rush there. The veteran camper joining the rush and having a good opportunity. Five teams in the NHL, one in the KHL, 34-year-old on that blue line trying to defend Ovechkin in his caps here tonight. There's a look at camper once again. Just over 200 games played. He's bounced around a little bit. Returned from the KHL to try to get a spot here on the Red Wings blue line. Homegrown, right, from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Yep. Played for the Wolverines. 11.25 to go in this third period of a 2-2 game. Andreasen will dump it in. Orloff is the first to venture back for Washington. Soderblom right there with him. Caps on the reverse for Jensen. He'll go glass to get it out. At the line, we get the whistle here in the stoppage in play. That was the only option for Jensen. They took away the dasher board in the wall. And there's no way he can fidget that puck to get it into the middle to Strom, who wanted it cleanly on the breakup. Explain to us, who calls those reverses? Is it the netminder? Is it the defenders talking to each it's other? It's mostly the defenders. They go back and they have... they have, Number one, you don't really want to yell out reverse because that and everyone hears it. Mm. They do talk to one another and they say reverse the puck because they can see the flow. You're, you're supposed to have, you know, eyes in the back of your head. You realize that there's some pressure coming. You got to make that quick decision. And continuing on that topic, Russo at one end, Kemper at the other. They're in their first season with new teams. How different is the vocabulary from one organization to the next, perhaps? I don't think it's vocabulary. It's just getting the goaltenders used to the type of D they have in front of them. I, I think it's totally different. I mean, you can make the, you know, you have a rusher like a, like a, like a John Carlson, and players like that, they want the puck a different way than some of the other D. You've got to get that into your system. Orloff's backhander was blocked. They dig in along the dasher, five-on-five five play. Red Wings had a five-on-three power play goal from Bertuzzi in the first. McMichael scored for Washington on a delayed penalty against the Wings. That was one of those six-on-five pulled goalie goals tonight. Jensen snaking away. Zarnik nearly picked his pocket. McMichael able to send that one to the line, but not out. Like I think he knew exactly, did Darcy Kemper, what Makar was going to do when he comes back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what he's got to get that same type of comfort with the blue line core here in Washington. 
Jensen retreating. Red Wings in the middle of a change. Ditto for Washington. Lucas Johansson taking his sweet time. 24-year-old British Columbia native. Long send away from Jensen. Deflected wide of Huso. For Lucas, he got his first ever NHL career point at Detroit. December 31st of yep. 2021. That was his NHL debut. Long wrister, Johansson shuffled down by Huso. We've crossed the midway mark of the third. Rather sleepy period compared to the first two. I'm trying to stay awake. You will. I know you'll make it. <laughs> Johansson deflection try from Borgstrom. Answered there. Huso deep in his crease. Protus is passed. Twisting around Hathaway. Pokes it back. Borgstrom keeps it alive. Protus is next. They work the cycle play. Osterly there. Hathaway on around. Lucas Johansson delicately along the board. Kuznetsov crossing over right up the gut of the defense. Evgeny Kuznetsov still on the handle. Carry it for days. Working on his edges, isn't he? Rister to the goal, and that's surrounded by Huso. 9.04 to play in the third regulation time. Looking for the lead tally. Both of these squads here in our nation's capital. This NBC Sports Washington coverage of Capitals Hockey tonight is being brought to you by your local Washington area Honda dealers. When you want to get more, then it has to be a Honda. Don't settle for less. Visit your local Honda dealer today. By IT Cadre. Innovation, transformation. IT Cadre, your vision, our purpose. And by MGM National Harbor. Celebrating five monumental years in the community. Capitals will do this preseason thing six times. Detroit goes eight times in preseason. Red Wings are in action hosting uh, Toronto on Friday at Little Caesars Arena. Locker and I will be with you on Saturday night. Washington will play host to Columbus. Blue Jackets got the better of them 2-1 in preseason action at Nationwide. Chinikov with a game winner. Three on three getting to the outside. Rasmussen put it off the skirt of the goal. Guarded by Darcy Kemper tonight. Well, Kemper's been very solid. Lock with 27 saves. We'll have a lot of fun Saturday, right? A lot of alumni will be a part of the game. We have over 20 alumni coming into the event for Friday night and be part of our telecast on Saturday. It's going to be fun catching up with I some see. of the guys. So the spare headset will get a workout. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Yonatan Bergren is there. 52 in the white. 22-year-old Swede. Capsule clear the zone. Ovechkin has time. Alex Ovechkin, nine times the Rocket Richard winner for NHL single season goal scoring champ. The oldest ever to get 50 goals last season. Bertuzzi angling to the middle of the D. Orloff relieves him of the puck with eight minutes to go in the third period. Capitals in preseason play averaging just 2.25 goals per game prior to tonight. Two on one developing right on in as Kemper makes the save on Soderblom. He'll hold. And Soderblom's had about three quality opportunities and that one denied that puck trying to go five hole by Soderblom. Trying to go right under the stick and right between the wickets of the goaltender. Darcy Kemper. There it is. The puck rolled on him just a little bit but Kemper very solid. Look at the technique. Just a little shuffle across. Back in 2013, Kemper had his first ever win against this Detroit club back in 2000, of February of 2013. Minnesota, L.A., Arizona, Colorado, and now Washington on the mantle uh, for Kemper. Orloff snapshot off the toe of his stick. It went way wide as the wings counterpunch back through center. It's Luff with a step on the D. Just out of his grasp. Now he'll reel it in in the corner with 7.20 to go in regulation. Five on five play. Soderblom for Luff with Zarnik camped out in front. Sound defense there by Jensen. Those fast feet serve him so well in the defensive zone as Borgstrom looks to play it out. He'll use the dasher to clear. Quick up sends in Zarnik. Austin Zarnik with a little shimmy and shake. Plaster to the boards by Orla. Austin Zarnick now with his fifth different team. Late of the Seattle Kraken. 
Smith shuffles this down. Hiroshi. Taro Hiroshi leads to the trailer. Camper with a rocket. Kemper was on top of the paint. Back come the Caps in this 2-2 game. Sherry accelerates down the wing. Nice recovery by Edmondson. Excellent stick because of the reach he has. Snapshot there. Huso with a step out on Sherry. Wings have it. Zarnik late in his shift. Smith will skip it right to Kemper's doorstep. They weren't getting a lather early on in this period, but they are now, Joe. The pace is picked up a lot here in the second half of this period. Trevor Van Reems Dyke. First team All-American at uh, University of New Hampshire back in his collegiate days. Now 31 years of age on the back end for the Caps. Deliberately out of his own zone with Faravari. Protus is next. Kick it to the middle. Borgstrom arm in arm to the dasher along with the Johansson. Tyler Bertuzzi lost it there. They scramble for it along the boards. Borgstrom's pass is going to be picked by Lindstrom. 5.40 to go. In regulation time. Shots on goal, 33-30, favor Detroit. Faravari moseys his way out and leaves it to Kuznetsov. Gathering momentum. Evgeny Kuznetsov pedals into the offensive zone and fires right to the shoulder of Huso, who will squeeze. Down the stretch with you when you return with us here at Capital One Arena. Washington 2, Detroit 2, and Kemper making it safe that way. Vice President and GM Brian McClellan landed a really good one in free agency in Darcy Kemper. He sure did. You look at win, save, percentage, and shutouts, all top five in the National Hockey last year. Uh, National Hockey League, he also won the Stanley Cup. Five shutouts, 921. I look at save percentage a lot, and that's a nice, tidy save percentage. And of course, it's 37 wins. Now a cap for five years, a long-term contract for Darcy Kemp. And it hasn't been just the one year, right? You think about save percentage leaders since 2017, nobody better than Kemper at 921. And wouldn't you say that Huso and Kemper were two of the off-season goalies that teams were vying for. Detroit acquiring Huso in a trade from St. Louis in July. Darcy and Billy eagle-eyed from behind their masks as the Caps get the offensive zone draw in this 2-2 game. Connor Brown peels away from Valeno. Yeah, he took the face off and won it cleanly and over the course of the summer everyone said Connor Brown is going to Edmonton to be reunited with Connor McDavid who he played junior with. That was the scene for just about a month. And then all of a sudden, BMAC picks him up and has a real nice player in Connor Brown. I remember a name that was uh, a junior teammate of both Brown and uh, McDavid. A gentleman named Andre Burakovsky. That's right. Erie Otters, right? He's on that team as well. Yeah. Oh, new stick. Looks like it snapped right off the face, off the shaft. Going to get a new twig for this draw. At that time, uh, Connor Brown was 18, and Connor McDavid was 15, playing for the Erie Otters. That was the year that Connor Brown led the OHL in scoring with, I think, 128 points. 45 plus 83, you're exactly right. Kuznetsov attempting to win the draw now against Valeno. Valeno takes care of that. Simon Edmondson pressured quickly. Brown is there. Edmondson recovers. In a duel along the boards, the youngster gets it to back to point position. Brown will keep it deep for Washington. Four and a half left in regulation time. Regardless of whether or not we go to OT in this game, we will have a, a practice shootout in this preseason game. We get a whistle here and a hand pass. Stoppage in play. There's Alex Ovechkin, OB once again. Everybody's going to be watching him early on in the season. We'll see if he comes out of the gate hot. Definitely trying to get his game going here tonight. The way he's thrown around the body, got some good looks, has picked up a helper on the first goal. He's been doing a little bit of everything. That's Craig Lachlan. I'm Joe Beninati. Al Koken's your ringside reporter with 4.20 to go in the third period. Bertuzzi and Rasmussen for the wings. Goals for Washington for McMichael and Jensen in this 2-2 affair.
Shots on goal. Both teams into the 30s now. 33-31 Detroit. Dylan Strom working down against uh, Johansson. That's uh, Albert Johansson, 21-year-old Swede. Marcus Johansson, a scratch tonight for the Capitals. Same for Anthony Mantha. Congratulations, Anthony, on the birth of his daughter, Naomi May. Yeah, here, Congratulations here. to Anthony and Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Sherry working down the dasher. Mantha, the former wing, who was brought in as the Caps dealt to Jacob Vrana to Detroit. And Vrana figures to factor in very highly on Coach Lalone's offensive they ranks. both had shoulder problems last year. Missed a lot of games for their respective clubs. Loose in the deep slot, covered up by Hiroshi. Flex back out to center. Freeman changed to play in the third. Lucas Johansson gets it in deep. Comes board to board. Zarnik plays it back into the Washington end. McMichael waiting. Has the disc through center and he'll clear in. Puso cuts it off. Change on the move for Peter Laviolette. Hiroshi opens up and scuttles Washington back in its own territory. Carlson. Annually among Washington's ice time leaders. Protus took a misstep there. Was he tripped? Was he held? There is a penalty call coming. And I thought the penalty should have been earlier when Eller seemed to be up, ended in trip down. The Caps will go to the power play. It's their big center, Rasmussen, heading off. The holding call coming up through the neutral zone. So here come the Caps to the power play to win this hockey game. You can see the uh, commentary of Coach <laughs> Here it is, a little back check there, and just the grab of the right shoulder. Yeah, that's a cheapie. I think because they missed the one on Eller at the blue line prior to this, they elected to say, you know what, they probably deserved one there, and they gave it sort of a cheapie late in the game. Remember, TJ Oshie left in the second period injured, held out of the third for precautionary reasons. He'll be evaluated again tomorrow. Second power play for Washington on the night. Ovechkin and Carlson at the points. Kuznetsov, Stroman, Brown up top. Snapshot here from Kuznetsov. Ricochets off the dasher. It's kept in by Ovechkin. Kuznetsov to Strom inside. Brown, score! Connor Brown. Took him all of 18 seconds on that holding call to Rasmussen. And Connor Brown replaces TJ Oshie on the top unit in the bumper position. Receives a puck, and it's a body blow through the body of their goaltender. Huso's had such a good hockey game. This one he'd probably want back. Good movement. Goes down half wall to Strom. Strom to Connor Brown. And he gives the Caps the first lead of the game. 3-2 lead here late. In the third. You mentioned Brown filling in for Oshie. Always, Oshie always talks about the footwork required to play that interior position. Brown doing so nicely there. Taking the quick pass and the put away. At 17.33, the Capitals protect the one goal lead with 2.15 to go in the third. There will be a practice shootout at the end of regulation. Regardless of whether or not Detroit ties things up. Osterly out there for Rasmussen and back into the neighborhood of Darcy Kemper. Jensen swings the cage with two minutes to go. Shots on goal are level at 33 apiece. Barton to Rasmussen, stacked up by Orla. Ovechkin has it. Nick Jensen is next. Jensen's had a lot of ice time tonight. Red Wings in the middle of a change. It's an easy clear for Orla. Moving it down the dasher. Ovechkin keeps it back behind Puso's cage. 133 left. We'll see when Coach Lalone will pull Puso for the extra attacker. Here he goes right to the cage now as it's six on five in white. Soderblom dancing with it, pinched along the boards. Kuznetsov didn't get it out. Carlson will. Floating one ahead. This is onside. Ovechkin settles, skips it towards the empty goal. Didn't have a lot of pace on it. Gives it to Kuznetsov, play it on back. The Caps play in keep away now with the, just over a minute to go. Getting it into the final minute of the third, the McNugget minute of the third period with a 3-2 lead. Ovechkin empty net waiting, bullseye! 
McNuggets again. It's all about puck control in that sequence. The Red Wings couldn't muster an attack because the Caps had the puck the whole time. They moved it around. Kuznetsov was a major factor holding onto the puck and wheeling behind their own blue line. And then the feather pass up to OV, and it's an empty net goal for Ovechkin. And that just solidifies the win here tonight at Capital One Arena for the Washington Capitals. Capitals should improve to 3-1-1 one one in preseason. Detroit will drop to 2-4. First time they've lost on the road. They had preseason wins in Chicago and Pittsburgh did the uh, team from the Motor City. And that will be official in 38 seconds time. We will have the practice shootout to come. Capitals one final preseason game. We'll share it with you on Saturday night. Blue Jackets will be here. A lot of excitement around the Blue Jacket program. Oh, here they a go. Late, a late scrap. Smith and Hathaway. Smith getting in a couple of short rights as Hathaway was down on the deck or on his way there. Linesman, C.J. Murray and Matt McPherson separating those two. And it was all stick work and cross checks that started this scrum down in the corner. Both guys will head off for an early shower. They'll get the hot water. Here's it starts down low. A little work on Osterley by half the way and then the pushing and shoving and it'll sue right there. There it starts and it'll continue. And Smith gets in there and everybody gets involved. The hit from behind and Hathaway cuffs the back of the head of Smith and they try to go toe to toe. All this with just 25 seconds remaining in this uh, preseason game. Peter Laviolette's squad gets uh, a couple days to get set for Columbus. Talk about the excitement uh, surrounding the Blue Jacket program. Mm. Johnny Gaudreau, <laughs> line A on a top line, you would imagine. How oh, might yeah. they work together? Uh, they're going to be dynamic. You know, Line A's never been a big-time puck carrier. He's the shooter, so it's going to be Goudreau trying to set him up. Folks, the Caps have scored again in the McNugget minute, so you get a free six-piece McNugget with a minimum dollar purchase on the McDonald's app tomorrow at participating McDonald's. I'm going to be stuffed tomorrow, Joe. Very well. Wow. McMichael provided the uh, first period McNugget. So Vetchkin here in the final frame. By the way, that's the first time it's ever happened. Really? Right? Yeah, we've never had two McNugget minute goals. Come now. No, we have not. I'm going to take your word for it. Because you get I, so excited every time you get a chance I, to I, do I, that. So excited. Yes, this is true. With nine seconds left, 4-2 Washington. Folks who came to Capital One, seeing a good performance. A team that uh, had most of its regulars. Darcy Kemper, extremely solid in goal with a 32 save effort this one banked 4-2 with a shootout to come yeah he gets four uh, taps fist pumps and he realizes he has to stay in goal now to try to do the shootout as the caps and red wings finish this one off 4-2 caps nbc sports washington coverage of capitals hockey is being brought to you by iron bow Visit them at ironbow.com. Integrate. One team, one vision. And by your D.C. area Acura dealers. In Washington, D.C., with you, the NHL on NBC Sports Washington. Joe Beninati, Craig Lachlan, and Al Koken, your announced team, preparing with the Capitals to start the NHL's regular season, which will occur for Washington one week from tonight. Darcy Kemper has to be among the game's stars with his performance, backstopping this 4-2 win. 31-33. I mean, we talked about him at the top of the show. 